Welcome to Honest Whispers Review and Sale. On this video I'll be reviewing a Styling S Mobile Suit Gundam Seat Series 1 Freedom Gundam. It was released by Bandai back in 2006. It is a Gashapon figure. So basically it comes in a mystery box. They're not labeled and you don't know which figure you're going to get. So if you're looking to get this particular figure it might take you four to f four boxes or so to uh, actually get it or if you get lucky you might get it in the first box there's no designer or sculptor that's been credited usually there aren't for something this small and Basically, I'm going to go over five different categories to review this. First category is design, which basically goes over the concept and the pose. And first off, just to get the idea, this is a gashapon. It does come in many different figures. I think uh, the design of it is done really well because you can't see the seam lines. You can't see, you can't really see where it comes apart it looks like one you know one giant piece uh, but to get it, give you a better idea the head comes off the chest comes off the arms comes off the hands each hand comes off so let me see if I can show you a seam line which is very hard to see even with the naked eye right here the legs come off where the waist is so that's a seam line you could kind of see uh, comes off and then the guns come off the gun right there in the back which is cool I like how it's held there and then the wings right there come off and then of course you could rotate these pieces they're on a just basically a peg so you could kind of rotate it if you want so you can make the wings look a little higher sometimes like I just try to make it symmetrical and you can see how the pose I mean the base comes in three different pieces itself and you can see how the pose is very dynamic he's about to uh, engage in a fight he has one beam saber uh, kinda out there as a guard and he has the other beam saber out there or in the back ready to strike or it could be technically it could be you know he's using the first the front beam saber uh, already did the attack or something or in the middle of the attack so very dynamic fighting pose uh, I, you could display this in many different angles and of course the base comes, you could detach it, although you can't stand it on its own, but what I'm trying to point out is that you could turn the figure so that without turning the base, you could kind of, uh, you know, have basically, uh, I could just basically turn the figure a little bit. So, looks very cool. Pose is dynamic, uh, concept is awesome. I give it a 10 out of 10 on the design. Next category is sculpting. And that basically goes over the execution, uh, the details, the, you know, the sculpting itself. And of course, even molding if I see any issues with that. And for a figure this big, or rather a figure this small, with the base and everything and to the height of the wing it basically about five and a half inches the figure itself would probably be around four and a half to four inches because it is definitely elevated uh, off the ground maybe about an uh, inch and a half off the ground so looking at just the intricate details, everything from his wings, the way it's spread out. I mean, when you account for how small this is and look at the detail of the face, the head, 
even the chest and that's where the cockpit is where that red line it opens up those little I guess I don't want to call it dimples but those right there are like chest guns so even that's pretty much sculpted out you got the vents right there on the side bottom right above the blue so I mean the detail everything's there pretty much uh, for something this small when you look at the fingers the hand very nicely proportioned you don't see any like rough something too rough or anything like that even all these little intricate lines on the gun very consistent it doesn't get deeper and all of a sudden uh, the line disappears because it's not deep enough I mean everything's consistent even right here in the back of the wings you get a lot of the details the shape and everything very consistent and this gun comes apart that he's holding in the back I mean the gun itself is one piece but you know could take that off but I mean when you look at the handle everything I mean like those little three lines and stuff like that it's like wow even the barrel like you could see a lot of the details that they added to it here's the back of the legs you can see the the little boosters in the back of his calf his ankle foot I mean everything's very very nicely detailed even inside the hips those hip guards or armors so the sculpting I don't really see any problems or any issues I'm gonna give it a perfect 10 out of 10 on the sculpting next category is painting and from afar painting it looks pretty much perfect especially for the size but when you start looking up really close I mean there are some areas in the paint that you know I, I do have to point out because right there you can see right here on his elbow there's a lot of white paint bordering into where the gray is even in different angles you can see it kind of creates an extra line right there And then when you look at the other arm, much more cleanly done. Like it doesn't go over the border. So there are some very minor flaws. You can see right here on the shoulder. Um, let me see if I can. At that corner right there, you can see a little bit of red bleeding into the corner. So minor flaws there. There's some black right here that's running into the red. So it makes the line look a little curved. It's easier to see on the naked eye. But as I said, it's very hard to see. Like this would be an, an example of something where a piece gets in the way. So you could see some red bleeding into the white right there on the front guard. And they are very minor, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess, because you could see from afar, these are really hard to tell. You can't really see it, but, and like, for instance, this is an angle you're never going to see, but then it's an, it's an example, though, of paint crossing over the border so you can see a lot of white right there on the top of the blue frame of his front foot so that would be an example of something uh, just minor flaws so when I look at overall everything especially from afar it's pretty much perfect and just to let you know you could see a lot of 
high quality paint too I mean the wings right here is gloss finish so has a nice shine to it and then let's see the red the red right there on the shoulder is gloss finish rest is like matte finish so really raises the quality on the paint uh, makes makes the figure stand out So the the contrast between the glossy and the and the matte finish, uh, it's a huge plus. So the painting, I'm gonna give it a high nine out of ten on the painting. The next category is value. When I bought this, when it came out back in 2006, I bought it for 5.99 plus tax at a local anime store called Anime King, and this. When I look it up now, of course, I see an average of of around twenty dollars. I guess I've seen some that's posted. I mean, with the shipping, when you add the shipping, it comes to be a little over like twenty dollars. I've seen some on eBay uh, as they are used, uh, like this one, like it, it's opened, so. Those with the shipping included come around 15, 16 average. So I would probably list this up at 20. Because as you can see, the condition and the quality are still pretty much perfect. And then I would probably do a bundle or a bargain on the on this deal if because I'll probably have something similar listed either way um, I'm probably gonna list this around 20 and then go from there I mean this is something from my personal collection something I would definitely you know don't mind keeping and holding on to so probably 15 would be the lowest I would go but I could definitely see the value go up a little bit more So the value, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I've seen other Gashapon that, you know, that came out around the same time that gone up way higher on the aftermarket. Something that's definitely selling for $30, no problem. Even some people listing it at 50 And then I've seen other Gashapon where basically it didn't go up in any value. So... Definitely, definitely gonna stick with seven on this. It is a very popular series, and at the same time, uh, it's, I mean, the demand is up there. So, I could definitely see this uh, at least go up in value uh, consistently, but a little bit at a time over the years. So overall, when I count, account for everything on the design, the sculpting, the painting, uh, I mean, just everything about this, from the details, it's actually pretty amazing how small it is, and yet the quality is so high. So overall... I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Because again, you could have this pose many different angles. It just looks awesome. And for something this small. And in a way cheap. Because unlike some full statue that's over a couple hundred dollars. I mean, this is still pretty eye popping. So definitely going to stick with the overall 9 out of 10. So to recap, design 10 out of 10. Sculpting 10 out of 10. Painting 9 out of 10. 
value 7 out of 10 and overall 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Until next time, don't hold your breath.